All right, today's podcast is about a tough one. How do you know when it's time to kick somebody out of your life, whether it be a relative or a friend or a relationship you're in? Maybe it's a business partnership that you're in. It's really important because I believe that people are in our lives to help us with our spiritual growth often, and it can get really tough. And so how do you know if you're supposed to stick it out through the tough stuff or whether it really is complete? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today, and I'm going to give you some really, really powerful tools that will allow you to do it and do it well. This is Zen in a Moment. It's a podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome person you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that move you from stressed out to in the flow. Flow meaning feeling light, open, and wise. I'm your host, Zen Cryer DeBrook, stress as guidance expert. Yeah, oh man, you know, that person that when they're text message comes up or their email comes in or the voicemail shoots in, your whole body goes, Ugh, right? It's draining. Or maybe you go and you spend a couple hours with them and when you leave, you just feel slimed. Or maybe, you know, you're really attracted to the person and you've got this kind of connection going, but every time you reach for the phone, you feel sick to your stomach, not good. Or, or you get on the phone with them and you feel compelled to call them, but you're on the phone and within 15 minutes, you're in a fight or it just never really feels good. Or maybe they constantly take advantage of you, you know? Maybe you're, you, every time you turn around, this person's doing another thing, needing more money from you, or uh, using you to take care of something in their life that, that really you're, you're tired of taking care of, you know, or the drama. Maybe there's just a, somebody that's around that's constantly talking about other people, gossiping, you know, in some sort of drama, only talks about themselves all the time. Well, there is a place where we get our spiritual growth through being in relationship with others. And it's really, really important at times to stick it out through difficult times with people. And yet there are also times when it's time to retire a relationship. So I'm going to talk about how to use your internal guidance system to do just that, to decide where you really are with a person in your life and what is the best next step. So if you don't know what your internal guidance system is, it's a factory installed system. You were born with it. It's turned on and it's already working. And you can feel it for yourself by going to zeninamoment.com. There I'll walk you through an exercise where you can feel it and you'll know what I mean when I say open, closed, or neutral. Super, super important on the homepage of the site. Go ahead and do that. So here's the thing. If you were to sit and think about ending the relationship with someone, regardless of who it is, doesn't matter, and you feel a lightning, you feel an expanded feeling when you think of not lo no longer being in this person's life, no longer having them in your life, no longer having to deal with them anymore, and you feel like this light expanded feeling, that means that you're open, which means what you're thinking is true and you need to move forward with not having that person in your life. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether they've been your friend since you were in kindergarten together or whether or not they're maybe a relative and you need to start cutting out contact with them or maybe it's a, a business relationship that needs to come to completion. If you feel light, open feeling, that means that that relationship is coming to an end. Now, here's the thing I want you to be aware of. There's a couple of things. Number one is when your IGS gives you guidance, it's good for you and everyone around you. Okay, so it's just as important for that person to not be in your life and not have you in their life. There's someone else. We only have so much time in our lives. We only have so many hours in a day. And there's someone else that is the right person to be in their life, to help them with their challenges. That person will hold the key for their growth and their evolution. They need to turn to someone else. They need to be a part of someone else's life. And you too, you only have so much time. And you need to be with other people. You need to be in a relationship where your soul is going to evolve and grow, all right? You have only so much time in, in your life, too. So that's number one. It's good for everyone around you. So no guilt is closing. Shame is closing. Those are not true. Those thoughts are not true. Number two, it could just be for a time. Maybe that's, you know, I've had a relationship where I was in a romantic relationship and we broke up and we got back together. We broke up and we got back together. Drove my girlfriends crazy. And the thing is, is that we needed that a part time. I used my internal guidance system every time we broke up and I used my internal guidance system every time we got back together. And it happened over about a three year period and we would break up for a few months and then and grow on our own and then come back together and it'd be great for a while. And then we'd get what we needed and then we'd break up for a while. And we did that. And I evolved so much in that 
relationship. So it could just be, it's not a forever thing. It's just a for now thing. Right. And, and so know that, you know, th th these things evolve. It doesn't have to be permanent. Don't, don't take it so seriously. Just it's a wait and see moment, right? For now, you're being guided in the opening to walk away. The next thing you need to know is that you don't have to necessarily do anything. You can check your internal guidance system after you get the opening that it's time to like retire this relationship for now. See if there's anything you need that needs to be said. You may open that there's something that needs to be said. You may feel light, open, and wise that you need to tell the person. Or you may get a closing. You may feel a tight feeling, a sick feeling in your stomach or a tight feeling in your chest when you think about having the conversation. That means there's nothing to be done. The conver there's nothing to be done. Th it'll just evaporate. You stop calling them, they stop calling you. And it's really easy. Now, on the flip side, if you have and you think about ending this relationship or letting it, re retiring it, right, out of your life, and you get a tight feeling, a closed feeling, a sinking feeling, that means you're not complete. No matter how difficult that relationship is, it's not over. You still have growth. You are still supposed to be in their life. And that's when you begin using your internal guidance system to begin working on what's irritating you. There's a podcast I did about uh, my husband taking out the trash and how to deal with irritation with people and that what you're thinking about that person is not true. Listen to that podcast. It's a good one to help you. And if that person's irritating you or draining you, it's what you're thinking. It's the way you're handling the relationship. It's the way you're coming to it with your mental awareness about the person or the situations you're in that's causing you your suffering. You need to go inside and reconfigure your thinking until it opens you and you find the right perspective, an opening perspective about this person, okay? Now, it's tough. I just want to say, I, I know how difficult it can be. I had a, a very challenging relationship where I was being taken advantage of a lot, and I finally came to the conclusion that, that this person needed to be out of my life, and it opened me. And I am a very conflict avoidant person, at least I used to be. I'm better now that I have my IGS because if I'm going to go into a challenging conversation, I only go into it if I'm open. And that means it's the right conversation to have and I feel good and I have faith in it even if it's a hard one to have. Well, I had to have the conversation to tell this person that I didn't want them in my life anymore and to explain why. And it opened me. And that was really hard. So I got on the phone and I had the relationship conversation with this person who was a friend and they got really angry and started screaming and yelling and telling me how they were going to, you know, blackball me from my community of friends and tell everybody how horrible I am and all of that. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this is really hard. I didn't realize it was going to go this way. And yet it still opened me after I got off the phone that it was the right conversation to have, that I needed to have that. And so time passed, about a month went by, and the person called me back up and he said to me, I want to say thank you. I went and I did exactly what I said I was going to do. I said a, bad, a bunch of bad things to people about you. And everybody agreed with you. They said that I had been really kind of flaky and taking advantage of them and, and not showing up and, and not being the kind of friend they wanted to have in their life either. And they agreed with you. And I thank you. You changed my life. I really needed to hear what you said. And um, they were grateful. So I just want to say like, we, and we didn't continue to be friends. I, I didn't feel the need. I didn't get an opening to remain friends. I mean, we're, we're acquaintances. It's fine. There's no bad blood. But it was a conversation that needed to be had. So my point is this. It's really important to be clear in your relationships and to be in them because you're open and it feels great and it feels right. That's what's important, regardless of who it is. So... I hope you take this to heart. This is Zen in a Moment. I'm super excited that you're listening. Please, once, comment below. You know, talk to me about these, if you have a relationship that you feel you need to retire or you have retired a relationship and how it felt and, and how freeing it can be and how important it is. And, and if, you, if you do have someone, how does this impact you? You know, like the thought and the opening and sensation of having them. I'd want to hear about it, having them not in your life anymore. Please share this podcast. I really think it makes a huge difference in people's lives. It only, we only get out there in the world to, to share this internal guidance system work if you share it for us. It's the way that it works. I'm ever so grateful. You'll be doing me a great favor. I love it. And sign up for our email list. Uh, it's here on the podcast page where you can also comment. Sign up for our email list. I want to be in deeper relationship with you. I want you to be in our lives. And I'd like to share with you more of the information on the internal guidance system. All right. Until we get to be together again, remember, as always, I am sending you love and blessings. Mm -hmm.